Not until we are lost do we begin to understand ourselves. So if you're unsure about what's next for you, maybe you're now in the right place. Because you had to understand the depth of the question before you could discover your answer. But it doesn't feel like you're given the space to figure that out, does it? The pressure in life builds quickly. This need to know what's next. It feels like there's this expectation to have your life figured out. Studies tell us the longer you stay stuck without knowing your next step, the harder it becomes to get on track. And when we're talking about a million people, those studies tell us something. But when we're talking about one life, your life, those studies may not tell us very much. The world is full of all types of success begin in all types of moments. Einstein knew what he wanted, but for a long time he couldn't make it happen. I'm friends with people who didn't graduate from high school and have built an incredible life. I'm friends with people who took the promising path, university, good job, promotions, corporate ladder, and may look successful from the outside, but feel far from it on the inside. When it comes to your life, any road is possible. It doesn't matter where you're starting, the timing is for you to figure out. Harrison Ford was a carpenter until his 30s. Vera Wang didn't open her first boutique until she was about 40. Charles Darwin didn't publish his world-changing book until he was 50. The thing that unites them is they eventually found their path. The challenge for most of us is we allow ourselves to get stuck when trying to figure all this out. It happens because we pick up only one lens to look at the world. We get stuck in a selfish mindset. Yet selfishness is not what you think it is. Because selfishness is not just about having all things go your way. It's not only about putting yourself ahead of others. Most of us aren't looking for that. But selfishness has a way of finding us. Because the selfish approach to life can often feel anything but. It happens when we get stuck only asking questions of ourselves. What does happiness look like to me? What is success to me? What is the right path for me? These are all great questions. But they start to become limiting questions if they're the only ones you ask. What does the world need for me? How can I make somebody smile? What gifts of mine can be used to help somebody else? Questions pointing towards you and away from you. That's the way to get unstuck. Then you take action. You build what's next. You invent it. You draw it. You dance it. You cook it. You offer it. You write it. You practice it. You take the actions one step at a time to change your life. So if you're asking yourself what's next, take a deep breath. Everyone asks it at some point, and often more than once. To find your answer, don't just look inward. What is the world asking of you?